headed back upstream just south of the bridge that is between Tull and Traskwood and I went through a little narrow place that had a pretty stiff current. Uh, back in the wider part of the river I was averaging about 2.5, 2.6 miles an hour coming upstream against just a gentle current in the wide portion. What remains to be seen is can I get back through this current in this little rapids area. It was deep enough for the trolling motor to run but I'm not sure if I'm going to make any headway. Okay, we're still fighting the current in the narrows. I'm still pulling about a mile and a half an hour and I'm trying to stick over to the right side where the current seems to be the slowest but um, I think we're going to make it but it is painfully slow. Looks like the worst of the current is still ahead about another hundred foot or so. Now we're back up to two miles an hour now. If I can get past this one little spot, we've got it licked. Here we go through the worst. I'm going to cut across it and try to reach some slower water toward the middle. If I can get just a little further, I've got it licked. Well, we're down to about 0.5 miles an hour. Still making progress, but I mean barely. Okay, we're through the rapids, and it, we all but didn't make it. Uh, I got down to about 0.2 miles an hour, and I mean literally going by inches. I'm now back up to 1.8 miles an hour, and I think probably about two miles an hour is what I'm gonna make in this area. It looks like the current is over to the left, so I'm gonna kinda ease over to against the right bank and try to catch a little slower water, but we are definitely fighting a little bit of current. I only made it about a half mile downstream from the Traskwood Tull Bridge, and after having gone through one narrows already, or little rapids, I figured that there was no point going any further because it looked like I would go through a further narrows, and I didn't want to get in a situation where I didn't have enough battery to make it back. I'm gonna head past the Tull Traskwood Bridge and go upstream from the bridge and see what's up that way knowing that uh, even if I have to float back I can. I'm now headed north upstream and the old bridge is just south of the new bridge. The old bridge is no longer in use and has been left standing on piers but the ends are cut off to where you can't drive or walk out on it. The new uh, highway bridge is just north and parallel to it. This is a shot looking under the tall Traskwood Bridge. You can see my Jeep up on the bank, and my takeout point is just north of the new highway bridge. There's a section of bank with a little bit of a path where you can drag the canoe up the bank. And it's not much of a boat ramp, but it's better than nothing. There's a typical tree that has fallen into the river, and uh, these things cave off on the bank and fall in and in the narrower stretches where the river divides into two you will tend to see these things blocking the entire river. However, this is a wide stretch and we can go around such snags. Here's another tree that's fallen and created a snag. I'm going to swing out a little to the right try to miss it. I want to hit part of it that might be submerged. Here's another view as we continue to travel upstream. At this point, we're averaging about two miles an hour, and we're about three tenths of a mile north of the Tull Traskwood Bridge really pretty here. The stretch is widened out and has some very smooth water. The animals swing back and forth. Give you an idea of what the banks look like. Some beautiful trees leaning out that someday are going to fall in.
Well, we're north of the Tull Trestwood Bridge, about four tenths, maybe five tenths of a mile upstream. And this is the first um, major bend in the river. Looks like it narrows down a little, but the current still doesn't look too bad. I have to swing around this tree. I'll head kind of toward it, give us a little bit of a scenic view. Currently we're making about 2.2 miles an hour. Another typical dead tree that's caved into the river from the bank. little bit of current here. I'm going to ease over to the left and try to avoid some of it. You see a lot of set lines set out along the river, occasionally a trot line. calm stretch. A lot of trees that lean out over the water. And you really wouldn't be in the sun except probably about the four highest hours of the day that the sun was up. And the rest of the time you've got some nice cool shade down on the water. There's a nice section of bank. You see a lot of shade. It's nice and cool. Mosquitoes are probably starting to come out. Hey, we're getting into just a little bit of a rapids here. And uh, at this point, we're about six tenths of a mile north of the Crestwood Bridge. And I think we can still make it through here. Um, we'll give it a try. See what our speed drops down to. Currently doing about 2.6. I'm going to zigzag a little, try to beat some of the worst of the current. Down to about 2.0 miles per hour. Still making headway. Down to about, well, still two, but here's the worst of the current. I'm going to cut across it at about a 45 degree angle, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we drop down to one mile an hour. It's really slowing down. 0.6 miles an hour. We're going to make it. Get an idea of what the current looks like. We're just barely crawling. But we're starting to make headway now. <laughs> 